Hi, Jeff Johnson, creator of Fingers Gestures for Unity, here to demo my third person controller. If you haven't watched the first person controller video, I highly recommend you watch that as it contains a lot of overlap with this video. But I'll go ahead and get started in explaining how this third person controller works. As you can see, the camera is offset slightly back from my very gorgeous looking player here. We have tap set up to jump. You can slide left and right. You can move forward and backwards. You can also use the rotation gesture, which rotates and moves seamlessly and has a nice little deceleration there. You can also zoom out and zoom in. All of these parameters are configurable, so let's dive in and show you how they work. I've got a fingers third person player added. The same feed object that you might have re remembered from the first person controller. It's basically the exact same setup. We've also got the rigid body on the player and a capsule collider. Let's take a look at the third person script. We've got our player, we have our feet, we have the same move speed and move power as the first person view controller. We have our jump speed and jump cooldown and jump mask. All of those work the same as the first person controller. The speeds and the power simply controls how fast it moves as you move away from that center point. And the higher the power is, the longer you have to move, the further away you have to move before you hit the max speed. Camera Z offset determines how far back the camera is going to go. You can obviously go pretty far back. We've got the camera Y offset that controls how high above the player you're going to be. And we've got zoom dampening, which basically says you know, how fast should the zoom stop accelerating. So if you lower that, you get more of a deceleration. But I thought 10 was a good value, so that's what I'm sticking with. The camera Z distance, when you're zooming, it just clamps the camera in this range as you zoom. If I change that to a 1, you'll be able to go in a lot further. Now as a 5, you can't go in quite as much. Okay, that sums up the third person controller. Let's take a look at this joystick script. This is exactly the same script from the third, from the first person controller. We have our pan and tap for move and jump. Same pan units. This is how far away from the center before max speed is attained. We've got the tap to jump property, restriction of the pan and tap to certain game objects. And we've got that same anchor and anchor line along with cross-platform names if you want to wire this joystick up to your own third-person controller and not use my controller, that's fine. You can do that and set your access names for horizontal, vertical, and jump. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'd love to get your feedback. Support at digitalruby.com. Please let me know how I can make this better, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.